Chris. That's a good point, Steve. Yeah, a lot of folks still without power. I have a new warning. It's not a tornado warning. It's a severe thunderstorm warning. That's the tornado warning for southern Edgecombe County. Got some other storms over the area and uh, new severe thunderstorm warning. We talked about this with the storm over Chatham County and uh, there it is. Eastern Chatham, southwestern Wake and parts of Harnett County too. That's in effect until 730. A severe thunderstorm warning. This could have a large hail, perhaps quarter sized hail and winds that could gust close to 60 miles per hour. So if you're in the path of this storm, areas of southwestern Wake, especially Apex, Holly Springs toward Fuquay, Verena and into eastern Chatham County and extreme northern sections of Harnett County. You want to just stay indoors until this storm passes. Uh, not a tornado threat with this just yet. We checked that out with the velocity. Didn't see any any problems there, but uh, these storms are making their way towards the east southeast. You want to uh, just take cover. You see there could be at least an inch in diameter hail. You see some of the areas there in the next uh, 20 30 minutes. New Hill, Holly Springs are not moving all that quickly. It is summertime after all, not the spring where uh, storms can move much uh, more quickly during the spring than they do in the uh, summertime. Uh, but still uh, right along US 1 there. I'll be crossing over out of Jordan Lake in the next little bit. So that severe thunderstorm warning in effect until uh, 730 for those areas. Other strong storms take those arrows off to show you some of these other storms that are uh, over the region now across uh, central North Carolina. Been a stormy afternoon. Quite a few severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, that's for sure during the course of the afternoon hours as a disturbance moves overhead. But no other warnings with these. It is going to start storming again. If you're in uh, Western Wake, Right around the airport too, another line of thunderstorms approaching. Not severe at this point, but they are strong. You see around Morrisville along the Wake uh, Durham County line. We have a DOT camera. We can show you that storm. Uh, pretty heavy one there at Aviation Parkway and uh, 5 4 or 40 in Aviation Parkway. Traffic moving along okay, but still some heavy rain that'll reduce visibilities quite a bit. That storm is pushing off to the east too. It's not severe, but it could have gusty winds, potentially some small hail as it moves across that area. Then into Franklin. County too. As we go back to first alert Doppler XP, you see another strong storm around Lewisburg. No warnings with that, but still, you know, a severe thunderstorm warning is winds of 58 miles per hour or greater and hail one inch in diameter or greater. That's uh, the uh, criteria. So you can have a ton of lightning just crashing around you, a thunder and lightning and pea sized hail and 45 mile per hour winds. And that's a strong storm and it'll get your intention and can knock down some trees, uh, not trees, but uh, some uh, branches and potentially some power lines, but you won't don't get a warning for that. That typically doesn't do a lot of damage enough to be at least uh, classified as a severe storm. So even though these don't have warnings around Henderson and Lewisburg and those areas, they are producing at least torrential rain. But of course, the uh, area that uh, has the biggest uh, potential for some damage is this area across Edgecombe County. This is a tornado warning now in effect until 715. It stretches generally from around Tarboro down to Pine Tops in Edgecombe County. You want to take cover until this storm uh, passes. You want to be in a safe place. We'll put on some of the streets here that where the storm could be uh, impacting some of these areas of uh, Edgecombe County. This is Highway 64 that goes through Tarboro. Uh, this is uh, the Highway 64 alternate and of course Highway 258 which comes uh, up to the north out of uh, Wilson County and uh, Pine Tops in this area. So actually it doesn't come out of uh, Wilson County, but uh, it stretches up into uh, Edgecombe County. Those are the spots. We'll put on the uh, velocity and show you where we think there may be some rotation. It's not as pronounced. Scott was talking about this. Pronounced enough though that the National Weather Service continues the warning, but the uh, where you see these colors coming together, that's where we look for some rotation. It's not as pronounced as it was as we lapse this. You see pretty uh, distinct there as it moves in. Notice those reds and greens pretty uh, dominant, uh, pretty easy to point uh, to pick out, but you don't see see that as much now on this last picture, but still some rotation indicated. So you have to take it seriously for the next, uh, say, 20, 25 minutes until the uh, National Weather Service gives the all clear. There is a, a tornado warning in effect for those areas. If you're looking to watch world news, it's at uh, on Time Warner Digital Cable 1112 and 112 and over the air on 11.2 and 11.3. But whenever there's a tornado warning and folks are in danger, we uh, stay on the air just until the danger is passed, just so everybody can and, uh, stay protected uh, with these storms and uh, the, not a widespread outbreak of severe weather in terms of tornadoes. But if you're in Edgecombe County, it's a big deal. You want to make sure you stay safe, especially as Steve Daniels mentioned a great point. A lot of folks without power. If you know of somebody who is without power that's in the path of this storm, uh, please uh, let them know somehow. Give them a call on their cell phone if you can or, uh, you know, on the regular phone. But the uh, tornado warning for Edgecombe County continues at 646. A new statement from the National Weather Service. Doppler radar can 
continued to indicate a tornado over central Edgecombe County near Tarboro moving east at 15 miles an hour. Still no reports of any damage from this and no confirmation of a tornado on the ground. So that's the warning there. This area hatched out southern parts all the way to the uh, line there, the Edgecombe County line. A tornado warning in effect until 715. Scott Dean standing by with more on the storm with another perspective, uh, a radar pers uh, perspective. Scott? Scott may have also lost his, watch oh, there we go. in 3D as well. And let's go to Weather Source 1 here, and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about here. Weather Source 1, it shows you the entire area that are, is included with storms that have those storms out there. And uh, we can also actually zoom in and show you a 3D perspective of that. If we can go to Weather Source 1, I have it up there. There it is right there. And, uh, well, it, well, we've got something. We've got the hail thing. So uh, let me see if we'll, we'll get Chris to go ahead and load that up in just a second. But let's go back to Weather Source 2 while Chris uh, loads that up. And uh, what we're seeing is, is this storm is, is indicating uh, some strong straight line winds with it not just tornado, but straight line winds. As uh, we back this out a little bit, you'll be able to see that right in there. We had that little bit of a notch south of Rocky Mount, and then we started to see the, wind, the storm begin to push out or bow out, and that's an indication of straight line winds with this storm, along with the possibility of hail. And here's the latest image right there. Still, there's a shear marker right there where that, that circle is, so there still is a tornado threat. And here are the latest velocities. Uh, and now, this storm is getting a little bit farther away from the radar site, so we're looking at it about uh, middle portion of the storm. Storm. And as we zoom in a little bit tighter, right around the Pine Tops area. So if you live around Pine Tops, that's where the greatest threat for the possibility of a tornado. Let's go back to Weather Source 1. Chris has gone ahead and loaded that up for me. And this is the image that I wanted to show you. And as we zoom in, you'll be able to see the high core, the tall core with this thunderstorm, an indication of uh, hail, strong winds, and the possibility of a tornado as we rotate the view around here as it's gone through the Pine Tops area over towards Tarboro on the north side and is now already passed by Rocky Mount. So the threat of a tornado was certainly over in Rocky Mount. As you can see, it's just south of Tarboro over towards the Macclesfield area as well. And uh, there's the uh, weather cam over towards North Hills where there's some threatening weather still in Wake County where we do have severe thunderstorm warnings in that area as well. Uh, let, let's go back to uh, weather source two here. We'll put on the uh, reflectivity. There's the latest image that we're looking at and is uh, with the hail coming through through. It's already passed through the Pine Tops area as we back out here now pushing through just south of Tarboro. And uh, you can see that the storm has moved out of Rocky Mount, but we're watching other storms uh, that are carrying some warnings with them as well. In fact, uh, we'll put on these warnings and show you there is a warning for this cell that is pushed out of uh, Chatham County, now pushing towards uh, southwestern Wake County. This storm uh, has a possibility of large hail and, da and damaging winds as well. Not a warning with this, this cell up towards Morse Morseville, uh, over, towards the, uh, over towards the airport but uh, certainly some very heavy rain and possibility of some gusty winds. Also a cell that we're watching over towards Lewisburg with some uh, certainly some very heavy rain over towards Mapleville and that storm continues to move off towards the east as we put in put in the entire viewing area and uh, put this into motion. You can see what the storms are doing. The storm that we're watching very closely right now is the one that's moving through Edgecombe County with the tornado warning, but other storm cells that are pushing through portions of the triangle right now. The only warning is the one that is in eastern Chatham County pushing into southwestern Wake County, but it's this cell here that carries the tornado warning until 715, but it, the, the threat is over with in Rocky Mount, but it's in the far eastern portions of the county over towards uh, Leggett, Tor Torboro and over towards Pine Tops. Those are the areas that uh, have the possibility of a tornado. And again, let's uh, put on this uh, velocity here and show you the very latest on that. And that pinpoints where the greatest tornado threat is. And that's where we're seeing this area right around Pine, Pine Tops where the possibility of a tornado is. Chris?
Okay, Scott, thanks very much. Uh, and uh, as you mentioned, the, the uh, other storms in the area, but not particularly dangerous in terms of tornadoes. So we don't have any tornado warnings except for this one. Again, a wide view. If you're just joining us, and mainly southern Edgecombe County, southeastern half of Edgecombe County, including Tarboro, under a tornado warning now until 715. Uh, Doppler indicated a potential tornado near Pine Tops moving off towards the east at 15 miles an hour. So anywhere from Pine Tops to Tarboro, you want to take cover as the, that storm could be in your vicinity. Also, this is our hail detector where we can see where there may be some large hail. I and mean, if there is a tornado, typically the tor the uh, hail threat comes beforehand. But where you see these colors, as we uh, put that into motion a moment ago, this is where there could be some large hail or could have been large hail, particularly these darker blues and the purples there around Rocky Mountain south of there towards Tarboro, a little bit south of there as well. Uh, that's where the threat of the largest hail. We've had reports all afternoon of hail in mean, Wake County, especially of a quarter size to half dollar size in these storms, but this is the one this area in particular where the uh, tornado threat is higher and where there is uh, there was hail, but uh, maybe a tornado. It's around Tarboro and down towards this is real pine tops is that's where you need especially to be on alert as this storm moves east at about 15 miles per hour. That's the only tornado warning we have in effect. These are the other storms we have though across parts of Franklin County, western parts of Wake and then into uh, eastern Chatham. This is our new severe thunderstorm warning. You may be able to see that yellow there over eastern Chatham, western Western Wake and Northern Harnett County. That severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 730, I believe. I'll get that time exactly right. But uh, for now, it'll be areas around Cary into uh, Apex, uh, moving out of Chatham County, the storm, as it continues traveling on towards the east. So the threat of severe weather not quite over just yet across the region. If we can, let's go over to uh, weather, uh, weather 3, and we'll show you what's going on again with the uh, storm, uh, as particularly over Edgecombe County. Uh, there's that tornado warning in effect until 715 now for these areas around Pine Tops. As Scott mentioned, we look at this velocity and uh, we've been watching it over the last, uh, say, uh, about 620, I believe, is when the warning went out, somewhere around there. And it's not quite as uh, apparent as it was earlier, but still enough that the uh, there's at least some sign of a rotation. We talk about these colors coming together. We really don't see those reds anymore as much as we did uh, across this region. So that's a sign when you get those colors really sharply uh, coming together contrasting that there may be some rotation, but there certainly is uh, quite a bit of cloud and ground lightning with this storm and uh, potentially the damaging winds, if not a tornado. We still don't have any reports of any uh, to any tornado on the ground. We don't have any reports and we uh, have no reports of any damage. Steve Daniels standing by with more on that. Chris, we have just been in touch with the National Weather Service in Raleigh. One of our producers making a phone call to the meteorologist at the National Weather Service. I know, Chris, you and Scott are tied into your radar right now and keeping a close eye on that. But I just want to add that the National Weather Service does not have any reports of any storm damage, any actual tornado touchdowns in this area we're talking about in Edgecombe, Nash, uh, and Wilson counties this evening. Um, but what they do say, this is interesting, they say some of the damage from Irene moving through, some of the trees down and other storm damage, and debris has actually been picked up and it's getting moved around. So it's a little hard for some people to determine whether this is from this uh, system moving through right now or Irene, but the National Weather Service seems pretty well convinced that this is actually damage uh, previously uh, that came through over the weekend from Irene. I also want to add one more report we're getting in from a viewer in Alamance County. Uh, they, they are saying that straight line winds destroyed a mobile home park, the Shamrock Mobile Home Park off Highway 49 in Alamance County. A viewer reporting to us in our breaking news center right now. The power lines are down and trees are snapped low to the ground. That uh, a result they're claiming of the storm that moved through the same storm system as it moved through Alamance County to the west of the Triangle earlier this evening. Uh, Chris and Scott are uh, our two meteorologists on duty right now. We're the only station with two storm centers. Our first alert storm center where Scott Dean is and Chris Homan here in our Raleigh storm center. Chris. All right, Steve, thanks very much. Uh, we're going to take you to, if we can go to weather one, show you a uh, AccuView camera there of North Hills. Uh, there are some storms back out to the west once again across portions of uh, western Wake County, and uh, we'll show you those coming up in just a little bit on radar. But uh, even if you're in uh, Raleigh up towards Wake Forest, another band of thunderstorms coming through. Not severe, but they are pushing uh, eastward towards the uh, towards the city. So let's take a look at a DOT camera. This is uh, at uh, RTP, and you can see the uh, Miami Boulevard. Uh, you can see, I don't see it up there just yet, but there it is. There's that thunderstorm as it uh, presses 
is eastward. Traffic moving along pretty well, but still some pretty heavy rain there across parts of uh, the uh, triangle right now. OK, we'll go back over to weather one if we can show you what's going on in terms of the uh, radar with the showers and storms. Remember the tornado warning for Edgecombe County. This is a severe thunderstorm warning for areas of uh, eastern Chatham County and western Wake County. Uh, no warnings with those storms. We showed you with that DOT camera, but there is one here just to the south of that area. Apex south of Cary, Apex to Holly Springs into eastern Chatham County. A severe thunderstorm warning in effect uh, until uh, 730 for this area. These storms moving to the east. The hazards with this quarter sized hail and winds that could gust up to 60 miles an hour. So you want to stay indoors. And likewise with these storms here that are uh, just to the uh, north of that around Cary, Morrisville, RDU International. We'll uh, try to get our uh, uh, RDU camera up in just a bit and show you with that. Uh, they're producing a heavy rain, cloud to ground lightning and torrential rain. We've had a ton of rain this month uh, so far at the airport over seven inches of rain, which is uh, well above average, obviously, for this time for this month and uh, more on the way. Some really heavy rain there in those areas. These storms moving east don't have damaging winds with them, but certainly could have uh, some small hail and gusty winds in excess of, uh, say, 40, 45 miles per hour. Those storms stretch up into Franklin County, into Vance County, too pressing onto these. I think the severe weather threat is going to wane by about uh, oh, 10, 11 o'clock. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 11 o'clock for all of the area. Just want to re reiterate one more time. So far, no reports of damage, no reports of a tornado on the ground, but uh, it's a tornado warning remains in effect for this part of Edgecombe County from Tarboro to Princeville, Princeville to Pine Tops until 715, another 8 to 12 minutes as the storm makes its way eastward. It'll be moving out of the viewing area in the next little bit. This is where we show you the height of these storms and notice as we zoom into this one this is a towering thunderstorm obviously probably up to about 40,000 feet or so at least perhaps even higher as uh, it uh, presses on towards the east at about uh, 15 miles per hour so the taller the cloud top the taller the thunderstorm the better chance it has to become severe because it can get reach into the atmosphere obviously higher you get the updrafts the downdrafts the potential for hail all of the hazards in these storms gets higher as the storm reaches higher into the atmosphere this is again pushing uh, these storms uh, again pushing eastward now. There's Tarboro. This storm uh, just to the southwest, the worst part of it of Tarboro. Last report at Pine Tops. There's the tornado warning that's in effect there for uh, areas of uh, Edgecombe County right now. And it's right in this spot here. Don't see this is our rotation detector. Don't see a whole lot right now. But as long as that warning is in effect, we want you to uh, just stay indoors and say, uh, go to your place of safety as well. There's Northern Wake County again. A lot of cloud to ground lightning earlier. The cloud to ground lightning now shifted obviously east with that storm in Edgecombe County, but more lightning back out to the west. That's Franklin County right there with uh, quite a bit of cloud to ground lightning. Now there's a wide view of everything going on and notice that we're all under a severe thunderstorm watch except for Person and uh, Mecklenburg County in Virginia, but not many warnings. You see that tornado warning for eastern Edgecombe County. Once it's out of Edgecombe County, it's out of our viewing area, so we don't have to worry about it here. And we hope for the best for the folks there uh, that east of there, but in uh, eastern Chatham, western Wake, a severe thunderstorm warning in effect as well. And uh, the rest of the region. There are storms, but nothing of any real consequence in terms of severe weather at the moment, Steve. All right, Chris, thanks. Right now, we want to get more on the situation unfolding in Alamance County tonight. We have on the phone with us a member of the uh, Alamance County Sheriff's Department, Chuck Pickard, and uh, we're working to reestablish our communication with Chuck right now. Uh, I'm sorry, can you say that again, Mark? Okay, we're, uh, we're working to get uh, a connection with Chuck Pickard with the Alamance County Sheriff's Department. Chuck, thanks for joining us here on Eyewitness News as we continue our breaking news coverage of this storm system moving through the area. Can you describe for us what happened in Alamance County this evening? Uh, well, there's an onset of very high winds, hail, and um, ex excessive trees down, things of that nature, uh, primarily uh, traffic hazards. And what are you urging people to do? Uh, well, we urge you to stay away from any lines down because there's no way of knowing whether those lines are live or not. And try to report them to us if you notice them. Of course, there's going to be a lot of uh, multiple uh, calls about the same lines being down. Uh, but we've also had some incidences where trees have been on houses and we need to know that immediately. Are you engaged in any rescues right now? Are you trying to get people who are trapped in homes out right now? At this time, we have no reports of persons trapped in any houses, but uh, we have had a few instances of trees on houses. You mentioned lines are down. Power is out. Do you have any idea how many people are without power in Alamance County right now? Uh, uh, no, sir. Our primary, 
primary function when we have reports of lines down is to contact the energy company responsible in this area. They're responsible and, for, for touching and moving all the lines. And, and Chuck, can you tell us what part of Alamance County has been most hard hit this afternoon? Uh, mostly in the southern portion of Alamance County, south of Interstate I-85 and 40. South of I-85 and 40. We have a report from a, a viewer that the Shamrock Mobile Home Park uh, had straight line winds that destroyed the mobile home park. Do you know about that? Uh, we have no reports of the whole mo of any mobile home park being destroyed in and of itself. We've had a couple with uh, multiple lines down in the park itself and themselves, uh, but I've not received any reports of a park itself being destroyed. Uh, and um, for, for, can you identify some towns where this is happening? Is this near near Mebane or Burlington? Can you describe uh, where south of uh, I-85 and 40 where this is well, in unfolding? The vicinity of, in the vicinity of Swepsonville, the city of Graham itself has also been heavily hit. And, uh, and, and snow camp in that area. Swepsonville and, and, you, and snow camp in Graham. It, it, do you believe it could have been a tornado based on, on what your there, deputies there and real, other people there saw? Is a real, there is a real possibility, but we've had no confirmation of that. Okay, so it may be uh, straight line like winds. Damage, maybe a it may be straight line winds, but uh, that type of damage uh, could, re could result from a tornado, but we've received no reports of a tornado itself. And, and what are the kinds of things people are calling into the 911 center reporting tonight? And anything yeah. else beyond what, what you've described so far? Uh, we've gotten no traumatic injuries that I'm aware of as a result of damage or debris. Uh, but most of the calls are a result of trees down and power lines down. Right. All right. Chuck Pickard with the uh, Alamance County Sheriff's Department. We well, appreciate you talking Alamance with County us here. Alamance County Central Communications 911. With Alamance County 911. All right, uh, yes. Chuck, thank you very much. We know it's a very busy uh, night for you there in the 911 center, and, and thanks All for right. joining us uh, to help our viewers here on Eyewitness News understand what's going on. Thanks very much. And we will uh, be dispatching some Eyewitness News crews to Alamance County tonight uh, to uh, get more, uh, a better sense of that damage. But it sounds like uh, there is a substantial amount of damage in Alamance County tonight, south of I-85 and 40, places uh, like Graham and Snow Camp. Uh, and as we told you, we have uh, uh, information from a view that the Shamrock Mobile Home Park in his own description was destroyed. Uh, we know power lines are down, trees are down. As you heard uh, the, uh, the man from the 911 center say there are trees down on houses, but thankfully uh, no uh, reports of any traumatic injuries. And, and Chris, uh, there are also delays at the RDU airport right now. Flights, in fact, are being diverted, not being allowed to land at RDU right now. So uh, there's also a lot of travel trouble tonight Yeah, as well. and you can see why. We'll show you on radar a severe thunderstorm warning for that part of Wake County right now, Steve. Let's show you downtown Raleigh first. Our uh, sky cam of the city, guys. Uh, these thunderstorms approach downtown Raleigh. Ominous shot there of the uh, city as uh, strong thunderstorms, possibly severe, pushing into West Raleigh right now. And that severe thunderstorm warning in effect. Now, you mentioned RDU Airport. Go over to Weather One. You'll be able to see our AccuView camera. And uh, there is the airport with that thunderstorm overhead. It says no rain, but I think our rain gauge there uh, was uh, messed up by the hurricane because it hasn't been working of late. 69 degrees. Temperatures really dropping as the rain comes down there in that part of western Wake County. And uh, here's where that new severe thunderstorm warning is in effect now. For southwestern Wake, that one we talked about earlier, this is the new one that covers the rest of Wake except the extreme northern tip. You see on First Alert Doppler XP, this line of thunderstorms uh, pushing uh, towards the east southeast at about 15 to 20 miles an hour right over the airport, about to move away from the airport, but moving over Cary into uh, west Raleigh and then along into uh, northward there uh, along Interstate. 540 from about uh, Creedmoor Road back to Highway 70 or Glenwood Avenue. Uh, very heavy rain, winds that could gust to 60 miles per hour and potentially quarter sized hail. So if you're in this part of Wake County, really it's just about the entire county now from Garner, Raleigh, northward to Wake Forest uh, towards Falls Lake. You want to just stay indoors. This storm uh, moving uh, towards that region uh, of uh, Wake County, eventually towards Zebulon potentially. That's severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 745. The uh, tornado warning set to expire in about five minutes for Edgecombe County. Hopefully that'll be the case. This storm is about to move out of our viewing area and we're not really seeing a whole lot of rotation 
station anymore as we uh, look at the uh, radar. There you see, if you follow it along, I'll put on uh, back here to the west. Start about here, and you'll be able to see those colors, the greens and the reds. That's just a sign to us that there's rotation right there. Notice it's, it's not nearly as uh, well pronounced, so hopefully the uh, National Weather Service will feel confident enough in that as well to let that uh, tornado warning go at 715. The uh, earlier warning that was in effect until 7 has expired. Uh, this storm again will be moving out of the area into Pitt County, out of our viewing area very shortly. And uh, the other storms we're really just worried about now, not necessarily producing tornadoes, no real tornado threat with them, but certainly uh, gusty winds. And, you know, it doesn't take a tornado to do damage. Obviously, we saw that over the weekend with our wind gusting and 40 in the triangle, up to 60 in areas to the east of the triangle. And many thunderstorms, or not many, but some severe storms, the criteria is 58 miles per hour. That does some damage. You could have to winds gusting to 70 to 80 and sometimes close to 100. And it's not the case this time, but in some cases, downburst winds of 100 miles an hour, that's more than a weak tornado and they can do tremendous amounts of damage. So you don't want to take these lightly. They certainly can do damage. Severe thunderstorm warnings now getting into uh, much of uh, Wake County, affecting uh, quite a few people, obviously, very densely populated area of uh, the viewing area there. from so Raleigh. Just moving into the city, if we can, we'll take our uh, skyline shot again. This is looking at the city, and you see these uh, that cumulonimbus, that towering black cloud there as it uh, approaches the city. And uh, you're going to get brief heavy rain, lots of cloud to ground lightning, obviously, and uh, potentially winds that could gust to 60 miles per hour. We're going to stick with you until the threat of the tornadoes has uh, passed, and that's for Edgecombe County. No other tornado warnings have been issued, but this one's still in effect for Edgecombe County uh, from Tarboro South, where I think in Pine Tops, uh, it's moving out of that area now, but extreme eastern parts of Edgecombe County, uh, the tornado warning in effect until 715. Had numerous reports today of uh, hail. That was the big news in uh, parts of Wake County today as uh, these storms moved by, producing uh, fairly large hail uh, across these regions. You see, uh, take that off there, uh, one uh, inch and a quarter diameter, an inch in diameter. Some of these uh, as much as, uh, say, the size of half dollars. Main clustered these reports, mainly in North Raleigh, around Six Forks Road, 540, Lead Mine Road and the uh, and areas of uh, North Raleigh right in there along Interstate 540 uh, reports of hail. No reports of any damage with that. It appeared to be fairly small, uh, at least small enough not to cause too much damage. Again, the uh, tornado warning set to expire in just a couple of minutes. No reports so far of any damage uh, here in uh, Edgecombe County. No reports of a tornado on the ground. It's all been Doppler indicated. And you notice even when we lapse this, as this storm moves quickly now, a little more quickly it looks like, to the east at about 15 to 20 20 miles per hour that uh, it doesn't look as impressive. You don't see the really, really dark colors there anymore. So a sign that it may be weakening, but the, most of the cloud to ground lightning is over the southern part of the county. Uh, the hazards besides a potential tornado include lightning, uh, brief heavy rain, uh, winds that could gust close to 60, and that uh, hail, which uh, if you're under that, uh, certainly can cause you problems, obviously. A thunderstorm up there over Vance County around Henderson, not severe, but it is producing a heavy rain into western Warren County. Uh, quite a bit of cloud to ground lightning, or at least some, uh, mainly heavy rain, right along Interstate 85 there, and then pushing back to the south and southwest. No warnings for Franklin County. There was one earlier, a, a severe thunderstorm warning, but uh, most of the uh, strong activity now is over uh, Wake County, and uh, back into eastern Chatham. Extreme northern Harnett County also under a uh, severe thunderstorm warning right now. Uh, this is all pressing towards the east. Uh, again, uh, moving towards the east. We can take a look outside of Fayetteville Street in downtown Raleigh, outside the Raleigh Eyewitness News Center. The wind's picking up a little bit. Uh, still no real heavy rain here in downtown Raleigh, but that'll be changing as that storm advances to the east. We can actually zoom into downtown Raleigh on radar. You can see just how close it is to our doorstep here in uh, downtown Raleigh as we take the radar once again. Uh, just to the west of downtown. A little bit of light rain in the leading edge, but back towards the RBC Center and uh, Cary, Crabtree Valley Mall there at Glenwood Avenue, and uh, up towards, uh, as you head up uh, Interstate 540, uh, past the airport. Uh, very heavy rain, uh, so you're going to get, uh, if you're in the areas just to the east of that and you haven't had it yet, uh, uh, from Walnut Creek to Brentwood to Nightdale and north, you're going to get uh, some heavy rain for 15, 20 minutes. Uh, winds that could gust to 60 miles per hour and potentially some hail too. Uh, Wake Forest and Rollsville 
uh, a little bit uh, weaker side of the storm there on that northern edge doesn't look quite as intense, but uh, this is moving east and uh, could be impacting at least Rollsville. We'll put on some of the towns that will be uh, impacted by this over the coming uh, little bit here in uh, parts of Wake County. And uh, here's the storm there. Uh, again, mentioned Crabtree Valley Mall. Some of these neighborhoods in Wake County, Yorkshire Downs, Westchester, Village on the Green, NC State, and uh, Pullen Park, all in the next five to ten minutes as this storm is bearing down on that area. Not the tornado, though. That's the good news. It is just a, a severe thunderstorm warning. We say just, but uh, they can pack a punch, obviously, as well as they move to the east. There's that tornado warning. Uh, again, this expire. That's the good news. You see it disappeared there over Edgecombe County. So uh, the tornado warning now can not in effect anymore. Let me just look over here from the weather service that they have. Uh, they said they expired the warning. So uh, I don't think they're going to extend it then. They let this one go. They're not going to extend it and it's moving out of our viewing area. So uh, no tornado warning in effect anymore for Edgecombe County. The storm has weakened a bit. So far, no reports of any damage. It's been about an hour since we got the uh, tornado warning. This storm first prompted a severe thunderstorm warning for Edgecombe and Nash County. Uh, and then uh, as the rotation began to be detected by radar and the National Weather Service about an hour ago, uh, uh, posted a, a, a tornado warning for uh, portions of uh, Nash and Edgecombe County, but you can see it doesn't look quite as healthy, which is great news as it did earlier when it was uh, pushing across Edgecombe County. Still waiting and good news is so far no reports of uh, any damage uh, from that storm as it moved eastward across those areas. And now we just have the uh, severe thunderstorm warnings that are in effect for Wake County and uh, also into portions of uh, Nash County. Uh, that's just another update. Uh, there's a flood advisory, so when you hear that beep, it's kind of jarring. I I have to say uh, that uh, we don't have uh, uh, any uh, any other warnings in terms of tornadoes. So uh, again, once again, we don't have uh, uh, any other tornado warning. See, we have those warnings that uh, severe thunderstorm warning that's in effect for uh, Wake County and areas to the south and west. But uh, things settling down. Hopefully, all of this will be out of here in the next several hours. The severe thunderstorm watch until 11, and then we do have some quiet weather to look forward to for the next several days after that. All right, Chris. Thanks. We know you'll be keeping an eye on this uh, weather for us through the evening from here in the Raleigh Storm Center. And we'll be having our news crews checking out the situation, the damage we've been telling you about in Alamance County. We hope you'll join us for all the night's news here on Eyewitness News at 11. For now, we'll join Jeopardy in progress.